I don't know if any of you guys draw. Every now and then I have like this down phase where I hate everything I draw. And I feel like, like no matter how much I have improved over time, no matter how much I've became, become better and, and changed styles or whatever, there's just always, I always have this time where I feel like I'm back to square one and I haven't improved at all. And that I, that, that's the moment where I have to restart everything I've done so far. I've tried a lot, a lot of stuff in my time as an artist. Um, I've, I've tried a lot of stuff and it's always been hard. Like I can't seem to get something that I like out of it. I can't seem to make something that I like and I don't know if that's normal. If like artists just always hate their stuff or if that's just something that is with me or maybe like a few people have that. Like I'm sure I'm not alone on this but I don't know. I guess I'm not really insecure about it. <sighs> yeah, so, I don't know. I've tried listening to music, tried watching stuff that inspires me. I'm trying to get inspired by real people more than getting inspired um, by other people's drawings. And I don't know. Like, the, the thing is that I, I, I feel like I don't have a sense of how much detail do I want to put in this. Alright, so this is where I am with the floor plan. I put the plans on tracing paper, so I have like every floor um, transparent. And then I have this millimeter paper, um, lined paper that I put underneath. And then I can just put like, this is the attic, so I can put the ground floor. And then the second floor on top, and it just and everything lines up and stuff. So it's a little bit easier for me to figure out how things are working out. You know, it all works out like that. This is the basement. I was thinking of putting like a little bit of a training area in the basement, like having a huge open space with like gym stuff and other things like that. And the attic is oh, you can't really see it. Anymore. Their stuff is in there. Uh, this is gonna be Caleb and Eli's room. So you have the stairs, and this is the front entrance, and then you go in, and you have two stair sets of stairs on both sides, and you go up, and then there's the hallways, and then here you go like this, and here you have another set of stairs, but it's like behind a door, so it's out, like a wall, pretty much. And then this is where the stairs go in. You go up. And then you have like a, another door here, and then here you have just stairs all open like this. is pretty much the door for Eli's and Caleb's room. So you go up, and then you go up here, and this is where the room starts. So these stairs are just like open, I guess. And then here's Eli's bed, and here's Caleb's bed. And I put like a video game thing, because I feel like Eli would play video games, and a little couch. And then here is going to be like something I have to figure out, probably the room of the uh, house mother thing, you know, which is probably gonna be Caleb's aunt. Um, she's gonna live there in this room, but she's like not really home, so it's always locked. I'll see that. I wanted to put a greenhouse at the end of the house, so there's gonna be like a lot of windows. This is like the second floor. Right? So the first floor here is gonna have um, the second floor. Uh, the first floor, the ground floor, is gonna have a greenhouse at the back and also a lot of like windows or doors probably and then stairs to the basement. I'm gonna make a dinner kind of room, like a room where they are gonna have uh, meals and a kitchen and then I still have like a lot of space that I can use up. I might put another kind of lobby here because there's already one here on the first, uh, second floor. But maybe I'll put another area here right in the entrance. I don't know yet. We'll see. So I feel like I should explain my little down phase at the piano. I have that a lot and it's fine. Like 
thing. I know it's gonna be over in that moment. I just feel really bad. I've recorded it a few times, but I always deleted it because I felt like it was stupid. When it's over, I feel like I can move on and do something else, like concentrating on getting it better and putting that energy into becoming better and not like, sitting on my fail failure part and just leaving it like that, but I'm, I'm trying to get better, so don't worry guys, I'm, I'm fine. This is a pretty good um, showcase of what, what goes down in these phases. I drew this yesterday, it took a long time to draw that, well, compared to normally when I draw something, and then I tried drawing her again, and I didn't really like it, like it didn't look like my eye, you know, and then I tried like, oh, something's wrong, and maybe the eyes, maybe this, maybe this. Then I draw her here, like, I, I like that one. And then I failed again, and then I failed again, like her body is really off and weird. And then I posted that on YouTube, on the community thing. I was like, feeling low, I think I said like, I'm glad I have you guys, blah blah blah. And then after that I was like, you know what, like, I'm gonna... I, I think I even posted it on Instagram. And then I was like, you know, I can do this. So I went through doing a few sketches on noses because I felt like my noses looked really bad and I was going uh, with the eye again and then I did another sketch and I liked it much better and then I did another one and I liked it better and I made, made it, did I make all of these today or did I make this one yesterday? I'm not sure. I drew one here as well but I erased it. Um, I don't normally erase things but I wanted this page to keep not like not being trashy <laughs> like my, like everything else I have in this book like it's all like a bunch of stuff so I wanted this one to make a little more sense I did mention that I was putting Greek mythology into my comic into my story and I thought about putting all mythologies into my story I asked you guys on the community tab if what your favorite like supernatural creature was and you guys said all sorts of stuff, and I feel like that's like really interesting to put more, 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 to put a lot of different things in it. So I thought about, I don't even know what I want to talk about because I don't want to spoil it. I really want you guys to just read it, but I also want you guys to watch these videos. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like, yeah, like don't watch any of them if you don't want to be spoilers spoiled i really want you guys to watch it so i don't know i put like a bunch of names from different backgrounds and different parts of the world here that all mean hunter and so these are gonna be plus names for the characters and it's pretty much gonna be like they were all meant to be hunters so they were born into hunter families which is why they are all staying in the hotel because in the old hotel because they are parent like they're all how do you say uh orphans they're all orphans and because their parents died hunting so now they're training at this hotel quickly addressing the uh, name change because i feel like probably a lot of people did not follow that and might be confused right now i changed my name on instagram and youtube and my shop I changed my name, didn't really, like I know I said when I changed from manga to comic, I know I said that I was gonna keep my name because I liked it, um, but whenever like someone talks to me and says like, oh hey Yuki or whatever, like it's really weird to me, like it's, it's not like, oh please don't tell, call me that, but it was really weird to me and I didn't really connect to it anymore and I felt weird. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry. I felt weird like having an American comic and have like a Japanese name on it and I just felt weird about it. So I thought about just taking my normal name and I let you guys vote. Most of them voted for Please Keep It but some also voted for for Maddie's Comic Art so this is where, where we're at. Most people voted for Please Keep It and 2% voted for Please Delete Your Channel which is lovely just lovely i love how you like i asked you i said like oh yeah you could come up with something you guys were like lovely maddie will blow your mind with her incredible art i thought it was so cute and there was another one. Oh yeah super maddie comic art legend <laughs> i love it <laughs> 
You guys are so cute. Thank you for like commenting. I like, I like talking to you guys. Yeah. All right, so I haven't filmed anything in a few days because uh, it was Christmas and it's pretty stressful. So I haven't done any filming. I would like to talk about something. Uh, now it's not like news that I switched from manga to comic, right? I made a poll on YouTube and Instagram on the community tab, what kind of name. I feel like it's a little bit misleading and it doesn't really have anything to do with me anymore. So I decided to change my name to Maddie's Comic Art. This is what you guys voted for. Uh, I made a tab and I made you choose from between a few different things. And I also added a choice where you could say, no, please keep the name and a lot of people wanted that and I can understand that and I respect your opinion and I respect your choice that's why I added it because I wanted to see how many people would want me to keep my name I was I know I knew already I wasn't going to but I wanted to see how many people would want me to keep it for me changes I have I've always done things and changed things and I feel like a lot of people know me like that. Know, a lot of people know that I change a lot of stuff all the time and that's 100% fine. Nothing wrong with changing. The thing is that you are part of my journey. I'm letting you guys into my stuff and I love that. I love having you guys be part of it. It's not like, oh, you could be like glad that you're with me and that you can experience this with me. No, I'm glad that you are with me. This is why I made the YouTube channel, because I wanted to connect with people who like the same stuff as me and who like art and who like to draw. And because I didn't have anything like that when I started out drawing. There, like YouTube was pretty new then and people wouldn't really make this kind of video. So I wanted to make it myself. If it was like something where I wouldn't want to upset you guys or I wouldn't want to, um, or I would want to just make as much, as much views as possible, then I wouldn't make this. I wouldn't have changed anything. I would have just kept doing it because I know that a lot of people like um, the whole uh, uh, consistency and I'm just not doing that. I'm cons consistently changing things. That's what I'm doing. And I think that's fine. And I think you should also see that as fun. And, and at this point, I just want to say that a lot, most of the people really were supportive. <clears throat> we're supportive of my changes. I like something in my throat. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of people were really supportive of my choices and I am really really thankful for that and I think that's not at least on YouTube like it's not a huge given that people accept you for what you do and mostly people don't like change because I can understand that if you don't change anything like it sucks but if you change something it sucks as well and sometimes the change is too much for some now the thing is I know I never changed something and was like hey by the way right now I'm switching from drawing to cooking completely that's not what I've done I'm still drawing and I'm still having my story I just changed a few things about it I've changed the characters appearances because I changed my art style which I'm glad I did and I will always change my art style until I'm very satisfied with it you know I'm I look at other artists and they have this consistent art style and I just don't have that because I'm not there yet and if you guys draw, you know what I mean. There's nothing, there's no art style and no, no art. They, like you, you can't have anything consistent when you're drawing out, when you're starting drawing. When you're drawing, starting out drawing, Jesus Christ. I have drawn for a long time and I've changed a lot of things. And you can see that in my video where I talk about the improvement of my art and the, the full in evolvement of my art. I talk about that and I show you some old drawings of mine and they change. I went from really cute drawings to not so cute and, and it's just changing it. I changed my stuff a lot and I've always done that. That's not news. Now I'm talking about this because I want to clear it up and because I feel like I, I have been letting you guys in on a lot of stuff that I'm doing. And I know a lot of people accept me like that, and some people might not. And if you do not like what I do now, then you're gonna have to do something else because I'm not gonna bend and break for someone in the audience because I'm I want to stay true to myself which is why I changed it as soon as I felt like it had to change and even if after three months I'm gonna be like you know what actually I'm gonna go back to manga then that's also fine because I don't owe anyone anything this is my story and it's my thing and if you want to read it and if you want to follow me then please do so by all means but if you don't want to follow it then don't follow it you know there's a subscribe button and if you click on it again it's gonna unsubscribe you so please 
you have to understand, and I know a lot, a lot of people understand this already, but for all the people who are confused, I make my choices and you make yours. And sometimes you can make choices for my story and I accept those choices and I make them. Like deciding Raven's Creek and Krause Creek and you guys said Raven's Creek and a lot of other things like Maya's sleeves and, and a bunch of stuff that I asked you guys already to decide on like my name. And even though I didn't take the choice that was the biggest, like I to keep my old name, I still chose the one that I felt was the closest to okay. And I like the name now. And that's the most important thing because it's my name. It's my channel. So do your choices, I will make mine. And whatever your choice will be, we will either see each other or you will see me in the next video or not. So I'm gonna turn it off now. I hope you guys have beautiful holidays. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload a video on New Year's or around New Year's. I don't really have a calendar under my eyes right now. So I don't really know like what time it's gonna be and what, what day it is. I think I'm gonna keep the upload schedule on Sunday. And with that, I'm just gonna... I changed my Instagram name, which is now m.comicart. I changed my name on my shop, which you can check out in... I still have manga stuff up there. I only have fan art manga stuff up there, uh, which is uh, Redbubble. It's in the description. If you want to check that out, you can buy like t-shirts and mugs with my, with the, my art on it. I haven't uploaded that and uh, updated that in a while, so if you still want to purchase anything there, then do that. I also wanted to buy a camera, a new one, and I want to be, because I don't really make a lot of money on YouTube and I have no access to the money, so I want to be able to buy the camera with money that I make from my art because I want it to be able to pay for itself. You know what I mean? So I make commissions. I am open for commissions. I will tell you once I'm closed, which is probably not really gonna happen. And you, I'm, they're gonna be over PayPal and I will do the details. I have a email address set up if you want to contact me. It's um, Madeline Comic Art, Madeline Zimmer Comic Art, I think, at gmail.com. But I will write it out uh, in somewhere where you can see it and you can contact me on that it's for commissions you can contact me on that and then we can talk it out and I can draw something for you and I will send you the original drawing to your house so if you are interested in that then contact me under that email address if you are interested in it you can also contact me on Instagram DM which again is at m.comicart keep in mind that if you want me to draw something for you it's not gonna be manga it's gonna be my current art style if you don't want to know any details about the commissions you have to email me and then I will email you back the sheet and everything with the details that I have not done yet so it might take a bit of time you have to be patient I have a lot of stuff to do at the moment it's pretty stressful so I guess that's pretty much it so I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you next week my babes bye Thank you.